Okay, hello. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Oh my god. Why'd the game just show up so violently there? Just, just right. Just so suddenly. <clears throat> okay. Sound is on. Mic is on. Effect. Okay, what was I doing last time? I think I needed to uh, find clues, right? I still need to find clues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could play the slot machine. I think it's too far from us, actually. Chow there, it's here. And it's built a lot of casinos around, but I never actually sat on the plane for fun. Uh, let's play blackjack. Don't know how to play that. Okay, it's easy. Let me show you. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what's this? Dr. Eggman's logo. Mhm. Mm He's kind of a big deal, isn't he? We looked at this one already. Ready for some Hold'em. Okay. Can we go into the next room? Oh, hang on. We can actually go just straight up going to the next room. Okay. Slot machine. Yes. Let's play the slots. You try again. Yes. Yes. Try again. Okay, last try. <laughs> Trying to get big money. Yeah, let's play the slots. You know what? Let's go. Nothing there. Claw uh, what is that? Claw machine? Can't do anything there. Can we go back into the room with the um with the safe? Doesn't seem like it. Okie dokie. Oh, trash can. Yeah, hell yeah. There's actually something in here. Um. Okay. That's the lollipop stick. Why is there a trash can in the casino? Okay, let's uh, question Rouge first. Thanks for your help. Are you hungry or your alibi? Yes, what is your alibi? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did he do? Okay. He spot at the casino car. And she got the blueprints from the library. So where did Blaze go then? We found it in the library car. Okay. You see Sonic at all? No, I don't believe so. I'm in the dining car at the beginning. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, I don't know if I like misinterpreted something, but uh, wasn't, um, didn't Sonic start in the top right with the captain? I'm just wondering how he even got down there. It's on me. I had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. I agree. I think it's unlikely. I think of that ice is much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. What is your alibi? 
They started in the casino. Well, where did they? What do you mean? You, I don't even know, man. I guess when they were immediately when they were going here, but they they also started in the casino. Played the slot machines, the train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. So she was supposed to search the casino room, and she played slot machines instead. Seems fishy to me. She gave me her present. She stopped by. Shadow past as well, but it was brief. Oh, that sounds kind of weird, right? Like, why was uh, why did why did she see Amy first and then Shadow? Wasn't that wouldn't she have seen Shadow first when he came to um from the lounge room? Interesting. And she also had a key as well. She has, a, she has an exit key to the lounge. Okay. Do you have any sort of proof you are playing the slots? I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Okay. So she has a ticket for it. So unless that's fake, then you can, you can, uh, that's a decent alibi, I guess. Uh, what else can we ask her? I'm the most suspicious of police, to be fair. I think she's a character they want you to forget about. Because she's never, like, mentioned in anything in that beginning bit. Pulling off that ice was much more trouble than the rest of these casino games. I take order. Okay, uh, what next? Did you say anything? Can you take your order? Are you hungry? <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing to oh, we can click this. Pinball. Some other crap. Okay. Let's go. Oh, that was a good time as any to clean up my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. About to get a word, and if you talk over me, I have my reasons. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, why were you looking towards? Why would you lock doors and then go to the saloon car just to play on the arcade machine? What are you doing? What are you playing at? Uh, we maybe have an appointment coming up. Wait a minute. I'm gonna talk, so let's do some investigating. I mean, if he has an appointment, it could be the train conductor, I guess. Because he's the only one that has not been mentioned. Okay. You... 
Give me a high five. <laughs> Could you, uh... Give me a cold chow cola. Hey. Alright. What's the band doing? Big chow band. Versa Diddy. Oh god. Awesome. Alright, what's in here? Oh god. Okay, let's open that. Oh my god. It's a secret passage. There you go. So I was correct. There are passageways between the train, because otherwise how how did Shadow get to where he needed to be and also how did Sonic get to where he ended up? There was no other explanation for it really. Okay. Yeah, just as I thought. Is the library as a secret passage from the lounge to the library? I don't believe it. Not sure how that would work on a train, of all things. That doesn't really make sense, but okay. Let's add that to our inventory. Hidden passage added to your inventory. Okie dokie. Uh. What? Giant Chaos Emerald Chandelier. Uh, okay, need to interrogate him. Computer. Lounge is a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. Uh, okay. Yo, what's up, Becca? What's up? What's up? Hello. You join us as we're investigating. A murder. And there's a computer complete internet access for casual browsing. Ah, lovely. It's convenient. It is. James, you want the missing these gorgeous views though. Oh my god, they're, they're just. They're just outing me completely. I've never felt so attacked. Uh, I feel like you using the PA, you must really need to use it. Okay. Some keys here. Right, so he has these keys. He's supposed to have a bunch. That is, that is curious. Mm. So he has two keys, but Amy has the master key, so she can unlock any door. Has he been giving away his keys? So the last remaining two keys would be for the doors he hasn't given away, so he gave away a key to... Who did he give a key to? He gave a key to, um, Knuckles, um, Blazon Rouge, I don't think, um, Crocodile and the other guy have one, right? I haven't noted it down, but... So there's, there's two remaining. Maybe those are the two he was going to give to these these guys. Okay. <clears throat> so a printer here. Thing. Um. Oh god. Sonic singing a song. Sonic rowing a boat. Sing a song. User interface isn't very clear, but it will not stop me. There we go. You know what? The art style in this part of the room looks like um, the show I used to watch when I was a kid called uh, Fairly Odd Parents. It kind of has that kind of look to it. What's in the trash can? <laughs> Check the trash can. Every trash bin has been empty and you've been disappointed every time. Hey, fifth time's a charm. 
There's always something in the trash bin. Okay, check it. What's this? Okay. I'm printing out the front page of a ticket website for the band Hot Honey. One of Amy's favorite bands. Okay. There we go. So someone was buying tickets. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I was also thinking like, could that mean someone could fake one of the tickets they start the game with? If they if they printed it off. I was thinking. Um Okie dokie. Talk to Amy. And Flower, do you have any calls for us? The hot tip but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Tell us. Okay. So she knows the whole plot line then, clearly. Uh can I take her order? Please. Cake first, dinner after, otherwise I'll get full on dinner and I can't have any cake. Alright. Oh, we can interrogate Amy. Fuck that shit. I wanna interrogate uh Shadow. The ultimate life form. <laughs> Alright, I'll DM first. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. I can help uh help either of you if I said you leave me be. Does she have a does she have a cake on her head? I, think, I don't think she does. If that's the case, she could have just ate that, right? Uh, okay. We need to interrogate Shadow violently <laughs> until he, he squeals. Can't take your order. I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back at the dining core, I'll whip that right up. I've been a tray and there's no bear coming. See, this is what I mean. Shadow is just. He's, he's a, a, what do you call it? He's, he's such a refined, you know... Oh, I didn't see what that said. Okay, whatever. Every Muslim's word to grew with Tails. Man, I wish I saw what Tails said there. Oh, I missed it. Why did you come over here? Interrogate, you asshole. Shadow, we have questions for you. I have an appointment to attend to you. This single person has mentioned running into you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she does have a cake on her head. I didn't even notice that. Dude, she could just eat that. Ritter, what was I locking all the doors? I have to reveal my hot tip. Okay. Going to the map, the next car is the conductor's car. Yeah, so Sonic was in the conductor's car. I was correct. So if he, I don't know why no one has mentioned this yet. Because how would, how the hell would you get to the dining car through all this and no one saw Sonic that whole time? If it's a Gucci cake, eating it would lose its value. I didn't know Gucci made cake, but I found out that like Lamborghini made made it not. Did they? They made a phone? Or did they make a toaster or something? I can't remember. This door right here is the Blanche car. It's the only door that leads to the conductor's car. The shadow's locking all doors for one reason. Keep Sonic from escaping the car. Okay. It's a bit sus. So, one lock... He did what now? He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so no- so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Right. <laughs> oh my god, this game. <laughs> I saw can look at these games, I don't know if that stands. I never saw Sonic again after you went to the conductor's car. Yeah. And he couldn't leave. This is- that's true to be honest, like he couldn't- that makes sense to me, that you trapped him in there. 
but he that means he also trapped the conductor as well. Because people who buy Lamborghinis toast their own toast, exactly. If you can afford a Lamborghini, you can afford some toast. Uh, it's the logic sound though with Shadow trapping Sonic. I don't I don't necessarily think he was trapping him there though. Uh, imprisoning Sonic. Sonic! Then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Because there were passageways shortcuts in between the cars. Yeah. The dining room. Uh, this one, hidden passage. Now we have to play a mini game. They should have put a different mini game, I'll be honest. What kind of car do you think Sonic would drive if he if he had to? Because you know he doesn't need to because he's too fast. But like if he had to one day, God, Porsche. <laughs> Give that another go. Oh, shit. They didn't have to go and make the fucking mini game so hard. Like what the hell? Right to the library card. You know, you know who no one suspects? Knuckles. Because he's he's made out to seem this like blundering, you know, kind of guy. But if there's a passage from I guess the pa okay, I see how it works now. The train is like this is actually the shape of the train, so you could probably go but from lounge to saloon. Sorry, library to dining car. So if that's the case and the door is unlocked, then that means Knuckles could have also gone this way as well. And anyone else could have gone between the middle um, carts, apart from us, because we got knocked here. And that's how it works. So that would also mean that since, since Blaze stayed here, right? Or she went to the lounge, she was likely in this part. Okay, yeah. But any anyone that went to the library or started in the lounge or went to the lounge could have gone between the rooms with the passageway, right? Okay. Secret passage. Some could have used a passage not through the library car. Uh what us distracted boys playing arcade and safely arrive at the dining car. Yeah, they could have done that, or there could have been another one going to the dining car, potentially. Okay. So, Shadow Man of the Son Sonic in the conductor car. That's a huge that conclusion. Shadow Man of the Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Up the door to the conductor's car. Drop the body effect in the dining car. Mm -hmm. You drop the body into the dining car. Carrying a whole ass body. <laughs> this is just a theory. Game theory. Don't have any evidence about this one other than my hot scoop. There's a train in Canada that goes from Toronto to Vancouver, but it takes four days, four days on a trip. Jesus. I hope they have like places you can sleep in there. The thing is I like I quite like the train journey, so that sounds like fun to me. A long train ride. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espion Vector not see him? This is very true. But like, Espio didn't see Shadow, 
because he was behind the, the bookcase. Middle of effing nowhere. This <laughs> I would, I would actually love to go on that kind of, that, that train ride. Must be expensive though, right? Good dreams are 10k, yeah, I would have, I would have imagined. <laughs> Jesus. It'd be hard to sneak around two people. Do you have any guesses? Because Vector was with Knuckles and Espia was reading. It's, it's the same conclusion, really. It's behind the bookshelf. Spear reading in the library checks out, that's what he told me too. He's lying. I'm not lying. When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that world game, I left the saloon car. Well, that's a lie because they beat your high score anyway, but he left the saloon car. That's a time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Yeah, he could have went through. He could have went through the shortcut to the the lounge, or he could have went to the casino. But assuming the laser was in the casino, then she would have seen Espia. So either Blaze is lying, or Shadow's lying, or Espio went to the casino, or oh, sorry, oh sorry, he yeah, something like that. It's an experience where you could do a lot more in four days. Toronto to Montreal or Ottawa on a train is very lovely. Ooh. Casino car. That sounds awesome. A huge train journey. Yeah, where was Espio? I needed to give him a key. I'm the last bit to give them boys keys. That has been giving away a lot of keys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's been given the keys, man. Yes, let's show some evidence. Okay, that's very simple. This is key room. I was say to get to London to Scotland. Um, by train, probably. Six hours? Sorry, seven hours maybe? Six or seven hours? Six hours. I think I'll take it, yeah, about six hours. The trains are quite good in the UK, yeah. Um, they are quite good. But the thing is like, man, I looked at how much I was spending on train journeys. Man, it was so much. Oh crap. It adds up. The prices are usually quite good. Scott. Yeah, one of my uh, school friends back in the day, he his uni was in Scotland, and his to get there, you had to travel like six or something hours. So <laughs> I was just thinking, man, what's the point at that point? Just live there. <laughs> There's only one reason that there's exactly two keys in that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow had to give it Espio and Vector. Yes. It's true. Okay. That's what we concluded earlier when I looked at it and I was like, okay, there's two keys left. He didn't give one to Espio and Vector. So that adds up. Well, what of his own key can one of these be for him? I have my own key on me. I wonder why he's stashing that. Um, that's the show telling the truth, then what? So I don't matter, son, I could bring to the dining car. Then what possible reason could you have for locking all the doors? I don't know, man. To stop the murderer, that's why. Shadow really innocent? Let's have a look. What have we got here? The crumpled paper. But it's because of crumpled paper. It's because of the menu. Train map. Hidden passage. <laughs> Why does he keep including me too? <laughs> this game, man. Plus, Amy, I just have one question for you. 
Has everyone today given you a birthday present? So Blaze, if I remember correctly, Blaze gave one. Um, Nakuza gave one. Didn't Rouge give one as well? I don't think Vector did, right? Or Espia? Can't quite remember. A lot shorter than Vancouver. I wanna one day I wanna go on a long road trip. I've been on one before with family from like Canada to America, but like a long US road trip. I don't know. Chicago to like Florida or something. I don't know. Some long that's not even that long, is it? But like just a long I don't know, 12 hour road trip or something. <laughs> You've been here? Yeah, I've been to I family in Canada and America. Okie dokie. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone. <laughs> Shadow's, he's just so astounded. Like, send me here? Yeah, I will, for sure. They're not normally from Canada, but they moved there. They, I don't know what that is. They went to live there. Um, they, yeah. It's, it's really nice. I really, it's like so funny to see a difference between America and then Canada. But like, Canada's so nice. <laughs> It's just like the most chill place ever. Uh, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, understood. Thank you, Amy. Oop. Just tails. I have a theory. Any piece of evidence? Okay. So we know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits. And he gave everyone at the station the car's key. He locked the exits, and he gave Aaron Station the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy, because Amy already has one, it's fine. And he didn't give one to Vector or Espio, but he tried to give one to Espio. But the conductor gave Amy a birthday key, not Shadow. But already locked all the doors. He couldn't find us or he wanted to keep us away. I think he wanted to keep us away. He was trying to keep Amy away. But that would be not possible because there's a master key, unless he didn't- no, he didn't know that, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> was he locking it so that she wouldn't bother him? Oh my god. <laughs> So chill, there isn't much to do. When I went there, it was, yeah, it was, I thought there was quite a lot to do, but it was just, I just liked how relaxed everyone was. And then I went to like America and it was a lot, the, the tempo was a lot faster and everything. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed Canada, really enjoyed it. The, the one thing I remember is that like everything in Canada also had like French text as well, like it had English and then French on it as well. And I, I couldn't understand why that was. Um, confused me. Tell some shadows trying to keep him away. Weapons. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Apple paper. It seems like with this game, you, it's quite simple. You just, if you find the evidence, you just, every evidence you find, you will have to use once. So it's not like they didn't make it hard. To figure out. I'm sure. So none of the investigation parts are really that difficult, are they? It would have been nice if they made it a bit more challenging, but oh well. You have two official languages. Oh, okay. And room through the trash. Trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band tickets website. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, this is his gift. Right, so he didn't want to know about the birthday gift, maybe? Mm hmm. Ah, oh, man, Shadow loves Amy. Holy crap. Unless that wasn't what it was. Because Shadow 
was buying tickets for Amy. Yes, yes. He's such a, a cinder. I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. There we go. Good, good deduction there, I guess. Okay, so he was trying to get concert tickets for her. Shadow! Alright, oh, difficult to manage. Well, that's what I've said. Did you print the homepage by accident? Yeah. Can't believe this had to accuse you of murder. Of murder. <laughs> Surprises you ruined anyway. The Chad, the Chad Shadow versus the Virgin Sonic. <clears throat> Had a gift except for me. While with my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Heart Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. It doesn't sound like a very shadow thing to do, you know. Um, can't see tickets were actually on sale, but would be available soon. Okay. At the appointment, you keep speaking of the time you're able to actually buy the concert ticket. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> that's so stupid. Okay, get in and out time them not to let anyone through. Safety of so this one has shadow cared about the safety of everyone. I had out keys so they could get in and out, they want to let through. Okay, it didn't work. I'm just managed to make it here somehow. I can that's gave the key exactly. Makes you wonder why he gave her that key in the first place, right? I take a slayer, make up you can come with me. Man, Shadow's about to steal his girlfriend. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not up to date on Sonic laws, so I thought Amy liked Sonic and then Shadow was just like edgy guy if you just hate Sonic for no reason and that's it I, I can't even remember if there's anything else to the story of Sonic seems to Mr. Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end I blame my source for this I was not at all yeah 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 he was he was her source for that then it's the next question yeah he was the source it's confidential You have an idea who that is? Who could that be, actually? I'm not even sure who that would be. For the info. You're the conductor. But how did she get to him? Um, I guess if if she knew what was going on in the cabin, it could be him, because she could have asked him, right? Since he was also there with Sonic. And uh, Blaze and Bravo didn't seem to uh, at all. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, one last error, the conductor's car. Okay, it's him. I'll come with you, I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. So, this is the final bit, is it? Pieces are coming together, the full picture is coming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale, so pin down sights tomorrow for good. Is it actually the conductor's whole time, my first guess? That's That would be quite predictable, wouldn't it? Okie dokie. <laughs> oh god, spooky scary conductor guy. Crash was here the whole time, that would have been very useful. Just because the bathroom would have been readily con- uh, been re really convenient. What? <laughs> okay, that was a weird line of dialogue. Nothing else here. Stuff on the wall. Go next. Nothing there. Uh. All right. Final area. Let's have a look. Maybe I'll save just in case. Okay, dokie. Let's finish this. It's now or never. Zikon 
Doctor's car. <laughs> yeah, where is he? I've seen him throughout the train. I also saw him in the dining car. Yeah, the conductor even exists. Maybe the conductor is just the, the train itself. So he's made up from the train. Like it's the train. He's like the avatar of the train. Um, nothing we can't figure out. No time to investigate. I bet you that's the whole twist. That it was the train that killed Sonic. <laughs> With all the robot hands. Can't look so young in his uniform. Okie dokie. May any future sorrow be fleeting. What an edgy line. <laughs> The ultimate life form. Did this fall when the train sped up? Okay. Have a journey in hand. Wipe your side. Paradise. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh god. Maybe that was a fight? A lot of people here have the strength to test off, but the question is why? Combination never cut his room. We should log this. Okay. You know, if it was the train that killed Sonic, it could have also created the crash that happened in the beginning of the game. You know, these robot arms could drive this train, they can't access every function train like the conductor can. Did they teach how to drive it? No, I just had to work the microwave. <laughs> Alright. Everyone's showering tales of compliments. It swings throughout the entire train. Okay. Microphones. Microphones, actually. Uh, start beatboxing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so stupid. That was impressive. Thank you for showing. Stupid in a good way. Stupid in a very good way. Uh, event. Event? It's a large one. A large boy. Okay, so someone can escape through the event. <laughs> uh, you can hear your armpits stink. He actually said that over the comms. My guy. Okie dokie. Trash can. <laughs> Lollipop. That's not a lollipop, what is that? Darts. He killed Sonic with a dart. A low dart. Okay, so we know that any weapons or explosive will be taken by the robot arms. So how did that get through? The only way it's possible is if Assuming it's a conductor, then he's in control of the robot systems and they only work when he's on board. So he could smuggle something in, right? Like a weapon. That's right, trying to see weapons. Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, whoops, I already looked at that. Nothing else here. I've cut blah 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 blah. Okay. Shadow, what are you, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where has he been? Talk to Amy. Well, do you think you have enough evidence? Alright, let's give it a go. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor's car at once. It was Knuckles. I'm just going to accuse Knuckles for the fun of it. Just to see his reaction. Knuckles are... Alright. Oh, it's because he's dead. <laughs> no, he's actually dead. Got fucked up. 
Oh, Espio is actually a detective, is he? On this train, I am but a humble poet. <laughs> train does escape rooms, okay. What in the world? Oh lord. You got fucked up. I mean, I feel like the, the character we're playing, the protagonist, kind of killed him because he knew he wasn't breathing and he had no pulse and he just left him there instead of calling the ambulance, so... Okay. I knew one of you would take it this far, too far. <laughs> um... God, a unique, uh, what do you call that, pose for her. God, she's pissed. It was me! This is inexcusable, Sonic's hurt. Sonic! Um, <laughs> Tails is not having it. I have yet to find a man that can outrun a gunshot to the head, a bullet to the head. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this tales. Absolutely. Me too. Same. I'm going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. <laughs> he just did nothing. This dude killed Sonic. Uh, who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, I kind of don't think anyone did it, really. Yeah, I thought it was a conductor, but... Maybe it's a trick question. Um, maybe we should consider our... <laughs> they all did it. Select all of them. Um, consider our evidence. Right. So... When we started, we started here in the dining room. And... When the train crashed, we got knocked into the closet, which is behind us. Sonic was there, pretty much dead already. Uh, no one saw Sonic or the conductor from that point. Um, when we went to sal the saloon, Knuckles was there, but he he played a game with Vector, and he broke the arcade machine, and then Vector went back, right? But he also saw Shadow. Shadow went through here, and he went through the secret passage to the library, and he gave Knuckles the key, and Knuckles then locked the door. I don't know if he went back to the dining room, but he locked the door from the saloon to the library. Uh, behind Shadow, right? Uh, Espio was in there reading, apparently, but Shadow said that Espio wasn't... Remember he said that he wasn't in the library? He tried to find him. And he couldn't find Espio, so Espio could have went to the dining room or anywhere else when Knuckles was busy. Because remember, the crocodile wasn't actually like in the room of Espio when he was in the library, so he could have done anything. Um, Rouge went to the library and the saloon. She was looking for the blueprint and she found it in the library room. Um, I can't remember how she got through the room, but I think she had a key, right? Not too sure. Uh, Blaze, I think, is really suspicious because she was just in the room the whole time. Um, but she had an alibi and also... Uh, what's it called? I don't know, I feel like they would have seen her, right? She was going through, but she's very suspicious as well. I, logically, I can't really think of where she was. I can't really remember, if I'm honest. She could have went to the lounge and then through there. Yeah, Blazes are hard to remember because she doesn't get talked about at all. 
Because no one said they saw her anywhere. I think there's something I'm missing there. Still weird how she just stayed in the casino. Anyway, and then uh, Shadow went to... I don't know if he went to the casino or if he just went through the passage. He locked... Also, he locked the cabin door. So Sonic had to go through the vent. What about to go through the vent? The conductor. So how the conductor got, I have no idea. If Espio could unlock it. Oh, well, he didn't have a key, right? Because if you're going to suspect Espio, how did he get around? He had no key. So, but Shadow went to the library and he went to the saloon. He locked all the doors, because remember you locked the doors and you gave everyone a key, so you gave Knuckles a key. I don't think he gave the crocodile a key. And he couldn't find Espio. And he gave... He saw, he saw Blaze, because she had one, and so did Rouge. So I think it's uh, Espio. I want to accuse Knuckles for the memes, but uh, let's do Espio. Let's give it a go. It's about the roots. I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. That's right, bitch. The man was reading. You have no... You have nothing. Okay. Saying Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the slim car during the murder of Milder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. Which is what Shadow said. A hidden passage! Espio could have left the library at any time because Tales and I found a hidden passage from the library car. To the lounge car. Yes, we did. And the lounge hidden passage exists behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky you even found it. Not only would Espio have any locked doors. Uh, I'll put him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, no, no, so use a secret passage. That's the worst alibi ever that he was reading the whole time. Also, he didn't see Shadow when he. When Shadow went into the lounge, not the lounge, the library, and he was like, oh, it's because I was reading behind the bookcase. But it's like, if that was the case, he would have at least heard him unlock the doors. It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think uh, Rafina and I can explain that one to you. How did everything know? How did Espio know everything in the train manual? Oh yeah, and you read that, yeah. How did he know everything in the train manual he was reading? Um, maybe he knows about the train beforehand. Oh, and he's a- oh, so it's actually, like, canon. Okay, he's a ninja. And memorized it. My god. He read a whole book in, like, ten minutes. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. He wants speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending from damn. What a try hard. <laughs> Fine right, Esri quickly memorized the book trying to the hidden passage, and Esri could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. This is true. For something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? Because he is the true conductor. Well, he knows about the. <laughs> what if it says it in the manual? What if you know someone who does? Fuha has evidence to prove Aspir knew about the hidden passage. Um. Right, okay, that's a good question. I hadn't thought about that. I had not thought about that one. To prove that he knew about the passage. Um, yeah, who, who was that?
Espio himself? Really? Because he read the book? In the, um, he read the book and... He read, if he knew the whole book, he would have known it as a passage there, right? Um... Uh, only other thing could be Rouge, because Rouge knew the blueprints. Or Shadow. Could be Shadow. Low dart, no dart board, nearby there. Interesting. That could have been from the casino. That probably was from the casino, right? So it was someone that was in the casino originally. So we went through, went through the casino. Nah, I'm not too sure about that. Broken robot arm. The cords to your robotic arm is going to be sliced through. Weapons aren't allowed on the train. Okay, I'm going to say Aspie again. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, so it was Rouge, because she saw the blueprints. Hand me the blueprints. Scout for more treasures. Can have it. Blueprints added to your inventory. A spirit could have easy users to find the hidden passage. Yeah, so you saw them because you went to the casino, which is from the blue dot, the blow dot, right? And then you went to the cabin. Oh, you found them before Rouge did. They were in the library, right? Stuff of brochures. Time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. Um, as we looked at the blueprints and then use the hidden passage to get the Sonic with Amy's guidelines, Murder can kill a single participant however they choose. That's true, I didn't consider that he could he could kill any participant. <clears throat> how much harm SV caused Sonic by Rafina and I have evidence on how it was done. Used <sighs> He could have actually just used the the blow dart, right? Maybe it stopped his heart a bit. Let's go with that. I don't feel like what would Sonic do in this situation would apply because Sonic's fucking dead, so you can't really like run about right now, can you? <laughs> what would Sonic do in this situation? Decompose. Oh fuck. Okay. Let's try again. jump. Alright, made it. This blood up was found here in the conductor room. Yeah. So he's unconscious, yeah. And we'll bang that more blow dart with you. Murder, Murder mystery. Sonic in the conductor's car, then how Sonic find in the dining room? That's true. Through the vent, maybe? Uh, robot arms. Nope. Uh, I should have looked at all the evidence. Wait, I'll be right back. Give me one minute.
Okay, I'm back. Um, codes to safe, right? I don't see how this shows how we could have moved him. Is this a side? Is this a side view and then a plan? Is that plan? Well, bad side view. There's two carriages there. That one's bigger. Those two are equal. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is the million dollar question here is how we managed to do it. Because that's what I was wondering this whole time too. I was wondering how did they get through um, knuckles, like the whole body from there. Unless there's a, I guess the blueprints could show another, uh, what do you call it, shortcut maybe? Those are two carriages there. Please. I don't really like to guess, but I'll just I'll just go with this. I was either that or the the floor plan. Yeah, I get to play this mini game again. Which I already played a million times. Okay. I mean, they made the minigame pretty fun, all things considering. I'm not sure. Like, it wouldn't be hard to make a sequel to this, right? If they just did, like, um... I'll definitely play money for this. It's amazing. And then they could add more minigames and all sorts. Vents. I'm going straight to the dining car. Through the vent. Okay. God, I'm surprised he can fit in there. Secret passage. Back for the robot arms, yeah. That's quite small, isn't it? But you can use the arms to transport Sonic, can't you? Uh, there's no reason why Espio would have to go in there as well, but that would also mean he has to be able to control the arms. The ability to go through the arms. Um, right, have a good one, Becca. Thanks for uh, joining. Uh, I'm just getting dragged around here. How on earth can I get him through the vent? Yeah, the arms. The arms. These uh, segments are getting harder and harder, right? God. 
And 70 runes as well. How the hell? That's tricky. That's a rough one. Sucking so bad. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Whoops. Oh my god. Alright, let's uh, reset. Reset, reset. Reset. Good. Man, they made this final one pretty hard, not gonna lie. I need to get 70 of them as well, some fucking bullshit. Okay, hang on. Ugh, let me rub my eyes. That background's like confusing. I get a drink. Wow, I was quite close that time, three rings away. You really can't get hit even once, and you have to get pretty much almost all of them. I may have already screwed up actually. Holy crap! Oh my god, dude. Okay, we did it. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah. 
Uh, Knuckles, so uh, there's a track where they're using it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I was going to go across Sonic. Yeah. For a good plan, to be honest. Information came from Espia, really. Uh, the one that received the information was uh, uh, you, Amy. I mean, if she just told us that, we would know it was Espia from the beginning. <laughs> Also, I guess there maybe was never a conductor because when you think about it, if he's a ninja, he could have disguised himself as a conductor, right? But there's also the picture there, maybe that's a different conductor. Maybe the, maybe the actual conductor never was on the train, right? But then how he would also have to know how to control the train. Okay. <clears throat> Dining car and lied to Amy, causing further blame and shadow for another reason than to cause doubt and confusion. Yes. This heart's the weakest. It was you. A like in that. Very Phoenix, alright. Love that. It was you. And here's Sonic. Oh god, are you chilly dogs? Hey guys. Sonic, you're okay! Just as we solved the mystery, Espia was the murderer. Yeah. It all started back in 07. Espia jumped me in the conductor car, okay. Dang it, you got me! Blood up there, yeah. And he vanished. The train's a bad nick. Okay, so <laughs> oh god, <laughs> did I actually guess it right that it was it was the train trying to kill him? Oh my god! Oh fuck's sake! I knew it. I literally said that it was. <laughs> yeah, because there were a lot of um. Remember when I played it earlier? There was a lot of books dedicated to Eggman. So, it was a uh, whoever owned the train sympathizes with Eggman at least. That's where he's going. That's what was already here. He was excited to tell me about the features of the train. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, when we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. Fucking bird! Okay, a tiny animal. Only one person to listen to use a flicker as a power source, and that's Dr. Eggman. Is Dr. Eggman himself? Of course it is. Of course it is. I told the conductor of the train needed to be destroyed, he refused. Yeah, the train is his co conductor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. The blow dart. This, isn't this like the twist in um, Glass Onion? Basically, the twisting glass onion, where it's like they, it's like a detective, um, you know, what do you call it? Like a who 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 murdered the host kind of um, event, and then they figure out, but it's actually like someone actually gets murdered there or something. Well, well, no one gets murdered, but doesn't someone die in that? Yeah, I think someone dies to to yeah no, someone does die in that. They get killed from drinking something that's kind of similar to that. A twist. SPL left. Lights in the room started to glow red. On Doctor. 
Awesome armor care. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Doctor Rick, man. <laughs> He's admitting that now. It's like <laughs> situation is going serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these other games worked. <laughs> Sonic seems to be fine. He used this blowdown on Sonic, stationed on the conductor cars, they sort of a non lethal sleeping agent. Thank you, yada yada yada. Okay. Mm-hmm. You instructed the arms. Didn't he say the conductor was um, captured by the robot robot arms? Very interesting. Did you think attack Sonic and hound handed Astro the blow dart? Um, so I guessed it was the train itself. That was like when I went to stream. I was like, is it the train itself that killed Sonic? And I'm so tempted to click that, but um, who do you think attack Sonic and handed Astro the blow dart? So, the conductor would be Eggman, but I think it's the train itself. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid! Oh my god. I was actually right about that. Oh my god. Something went out of the picture for a while, so I think the train itself is pulling something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Train's a bad thing that's out the gallus. Once again, he keeps saying the most ridiculous nonsense. Yes, it is. He wants to kill us. Brain. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> oh my god. What did you do? Is that the conductor? He was just about to retire. This was his hearing it three days after retire. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. What are you plotting? Right, it's Eggman. Oh my god. And Doctor and I'll be free to laugh and play games. Open rolls like we always planned. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Right, so the, the train is like in love with the conductor because he wants to leave to go with his wife. So he's like, okay. No, you're not gonna do that. Right. It's it doesn't want um to lose the conductor. Gotcha, gotcha. It's so steep. <clears throat> Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Goodbye! <sighs> I can't keep my footing. Uh, did I fucking die? I'm fucking dead. Okay. Hello? Uh, yeah, for us over here. Why is everyone else? Are you alright? Uh, I'm doing amazing! Pretty cool how we get some to talk to Sonic here now. Okay, wow, this game's a lot longer than I thought it would be. Um, I guess we could try and complete it. Doesn't make sense to do three parts, right? Um, okay. Oh man. Mm -hmm. 
Because we don't need to you question the map anymore because we figured it out. So this is all just its own thing. Okay. God, it's him. That's chunky, crunchy beard. Mm-hmm. You created this train? You owned this train? You created it? Causal station, then, okay. A luxury train, I wanted to be sure things run without my supervision. Mm-hmm. Oh god, sentient train. I knew Sonic was hot all along. Yeah, okay. Guess what game that taught, you know, and launching the elephant in the room. Uh huh. Uh, believe in yourself. There wasn't that much left actually, I thought there was uh, quite a bit more. Oh, okay, Jesus Christ, okay. In my last adventure, maxing out my room count gave me an extra boost of speed. Did it now. I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to blast, to bust through the next door. Right, okay. Pretty cool how they full screen it here now. You know what? When it's a small screen, it's less nauseating, but when it's like full screened, oh my god. Actually, like. Because <laughs> everything's so blurry, that's why. Like, they put some motion blur on it or something.
Who's next? Suck him up. What the game over? Easy. This man said, "Say no more." <laughs> he said, "Say no more." Oh my god! <laughs> All right. As those two. Yeti, chili dogs, time to finish this. Get off this stupid ass train. Hard to probably dispose of them to pay for Eggman land. Um don't tell Plus to the future. Will be granted. Its wish is to be with the conductor still. So if you can just say deal with that, then I'll be fine, right? You actually have to fight the damn train, okay. Well there you go. <laughs> it's got my whole life, so I guess the luck was nothing. Oh man, he's retiring. The simp train. Oh! Ah! 
I don't think I have enough actually. I think I missed too many. Fuck that one up. Did we just die now? Explode. Fucked up. It's gonna need to hyperdrive. Jesus, okay, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I'm fucking dead. Already fucked up. God, what the fuck? Jeez, okay, 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 okay. Just bit. I'm surprised I actually only had needed uh, as many as that. Uh, what was that? Sixteen more. I need sixteen more. Oh, okay, I wasn't paying attention. They were quite nice in that segment, to be fair. Oh, it's the fucking... Okay. Quite tricky. Four more. Holy crap. Oh, I could have got those ones, you know. Shit. 
Oh my god. <coughs> Fucking sucking. It's pretty easy to get that last bit. Uh, sorry, not a last bit. That bit at the beginning you can easily get the rings. They give you enough time if you have to jump. Oh my god! Why do I keep jumping there? Holy crap, okay, let me just jump down the pit and try again. The beginning bit's kind of hard, you know. I know why I keep jumping as well, it's because uh, when I try to avoid the spikes, that's why. Dude, I'm about to just out at four. Bits. Brutal. Jeez. All right, there we go. So many spikes in that bit. <clears throat> oh God, there's more. No. There's a hundred rings. Why do I jump? Oh, I need to wait. Gotta be kidding me. Okay, just barely. We do it. It's 
sober. Time to pay. I actually got fucked up. Awesome. Good job. Good job, team. Good job. to the trade R.I.P. Oh she destroyed the train, the train's dead. Oh no. What a heartwarming story. I really like that. I was like, I was. They should make like a full like, like a sequel, and there's actually like a, as you know, more of the mechanics that like these kind of games have. Like, you know, they just really um like run with it. I'll definitely pay for like a uh, a sequel to this for sure. That was awesome. I really enjoyed that. My boy Nakuza in his sheriff's hat in the corner there. Damn, his wife's kind of kind of hot actually. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Uh, Spagonia. Yep, and there's us. Alright, well, GG. Yeah, man. Okay, well, there we go. So, uh, all the details in this shot look really good. Shadow, chilling there, you got us hanging out. I want this train guy to be like a mainline character, he has his own, his own game. Very wholesome. Okie dokie. Is that it? Oh, there we go. God. I guess this is like a reference to. I mean, I, I remember that one. <laughs> That's a uh, robot Sonic, isn't it? Melt Sonic. Oh man. Don't be like Ed Eggman, guys. Be like Sonic. Robot. I recognize that guy from the new uh, the new game by that 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 one with the white hair. Is he only in the new game or he like in the previous ones? <laughs> okay, dokie. And there we go. I stuck with the gig. I practiced my singing. Uh, Mash five space. 
Awesome. That was really good. Oh, I'll just let the credits play. Oh, a lot of people worked on the story for this. I recognize that name, Min Ho Kim. I think I follow him on uh, something. I think they got a lot of uh, like freelancers maybe to do some of the art for it. Because it does have that kind of like freelance kind of style. Did, there, did Sonic Team not work on this then? Because there's no Japanese names I noticed. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Producers. Well, that's just that's just Sega though, right? I'm wondering why they didn't sell it, because why... They could have sold it for like £5, I think people would have bought it. But they just decided to, um... To give it away for free. I think if they would have charged for it, they would have had to... You know, do, do something different with the mini games and stuff, but because it's supposed to be like... You know, just this quick thing. Like, okay, give away for free. <clears throat> Catherine Jung. Atia Yasat. Jason Wong. Good old Erika Nagata and Satoshi Yamai. Mm -hmm. So, did this game come out? three months ago this April, or did it come out last year three months ago? Because I really cannot remember. Um, no clue. Anyway, that's it. Game done. Um, I'm actually going to check that. I want to see... I have one friend that played this already. They played 3.6 hour, hours. So I completed it an hour earlier. An hour quicker than they did. But maybe they... there's nothing to 100%, so... I did it in 2 hours, 7... 2.7 hours. Um... 
Let's see, does it say when the game came out? <clears throat> it was this year, okay. I don't know why I thought it was last year, but it's it's only been three months since this came out, which is surprising to me. Well, it has 16,000 reviews on Steam, rating 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's very good. Very good for free, for sure. I definitely would have paid for it. Yeah, they done well. They done well. Okay, right, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.